Stop it. There it is. What's up guys? Today we're doing an upper guy on how to play as Ace in Rainbow Six Siege 2024. We're talking all about Ace, how to rank up, frag out, and win more matches while playing Ace. Let's get to it. Starting with the loadout. You got the AK-12 and the M10 shotgun. Ignore the shotgun. AK-12 is one of the best guns of the game, and there's a reason for it. Run that ACOG. There's no reason not to with the flash header, vertical grip, and a laser. Definitely run that laser for that faster ADS speed. Up to you if you want to or not, but I like the faster ADS speed to get up close and, uh, you know, bring my gun up a little bit faster. 40 damage, 850 fits rate, really fucking good. If you got one choice of a pistol, I run a suppressor, you know, boom, just like that. And then you have an option between breaching charges and claymores. Most of the time I'll bring claymores, you know, around a breach or for a hop out or anything like that. But if I am working vertical, maybe I'll bring breaching charges. All right, now let's get into Ace's utility, the Selma breach. So you can use it on a wall, on a reinforce or not, or a softball, it'll open up like so. It's a little bit slower in the current state, but you know, it still works out. It was slightly nerfed, but it's really good for opening up a breach, you know, either on a softball or a reinforce wall, it doesn't really matter. You can use it on the floor, it'll open up one charge, just on the floor like that. If you really have to use it in a pinch for the floor, I mean, you can, it's not gonna do too much on the floor though. To the use them on the hatches, you are, it is going to require, if it is uh, if it is reinforced, you will have to use two Selma charges on it. And you only have three, so you do need to be careful. On a wall, one Selma charge is gonna be more than enough for you to be able to vault through. And if you do them lower, I mean, you can make a crouch hold. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. So the reason why Ace is one of the go-to hard breachers in the game is that his gun, is incredible you throw your hard breaches down you make the openings that you need to and you just kind of go in and you frag out one of the reasons why ace is one of my favorite operators to play i can open up whatever i need to and i go in and get nuts going through a normal round of days i'll open up whatever walls we need to with my selma charges and then i'll use my drones Drone in a little bit. If there's any entries, I'm going to vocalize what I'm joining. Aqua clear. Joining luggage. Luggage clear. Top white's good. Leaving a cam there. Gonna throw another. All right. I have a drone set up at Aqua. For the flank. I can drone forward. You don't ever want to drone too much because you need to drone and then take. So here I can see the Aqua swing. I know luggage is clear, so I can just move in. Have my gun up. As I push in, trying to get to the site. Ace, most of the time, is going to be pushing the site mostly directly wherever the main push is because, again, you are the hard breacher. You're the guy that is going to open up an opening for your team. A lot of times when I'm playing Ace, I'm going to be droning quite a bit just to kind of like clear things out for my entries. And then I'm going to go in and kind of back them up and refrag them, going for plants. Now let's go to some Ace gameplay. All right, Ace gameplay, we're on Clubhouse. I'm moving up the right side of the wall in case they bandit trick. My Thermite's getting the left side of the wall. Bandit is on the wall. I pre-fire him down. He's trying to trick the wall. I try to open up the mirror. This is one of the things I love to do when I'm playing against a mirror player. Just pre-fire where his head has to be when he swings out. He does swing out and he goes down. I throw another Ace charge to open up the mirror. On the way by. Amara. Now we're on Oregon. We see a spawn peak. He's dead. <laughs> Easy enough. I open up the wall. Simple enough. I go in, destroy you till. Push in. Pull the angles. I suddenly shoot my teammate there a little bit because he just ran in like a psychopath. Not sure why about that. Play on the breach. Timmy goes down, now it is a 3v4. Timmy swings out to try to finish off the cap can. I get shot from top white. I'm trying to go for a rev here. I'm not sure where the top white guy is, if he's pushing or not. 
Try to go for a rev. I hear one close on attic though. Audio is important. And we take him down there. Now I know I'm gonna have a teammate coming up white as he may push an attic and going for a rev here is dangerous because I don't know if the guy from inside is actually going to swing us or not. And my guy that's down isn't crawling towards me. He's literally right in front of the open door. So instead here, I do go play the three V one and leave him there. All right, now we're on theme park. Two V three. We rip the Azami, we run in. A guy just run, runs out of cafe. I'm not sure why he's doing that, but now I know that one guy is held at initiation and there's clearly one spot outside cafe. So a lot of times it's gonna be one of the trickiest things to do as a support player is knowing when to actually push. Cause like you're trying to value your life, you're a support player, you have the diffuser, you need to open up walls, etc. You need to know when to turn that feeling on and off. And it's honestly, it's something that I still struggle with. So it's very hard to learn. So here, I am playing purely like an entry player. I forget about the support. I try to go for a plant, but the guy's still pillar and in initiation. And we find him. And I know the last guy is cafe. So we start to go for a plant here. We get the plant down. We swing out. Teammate is down now. And we find the last. Now we're playing with pros here. Pre fire the window. I love how good and stable this gun is, bro. We find one. Trying to figure out what we're doing. Guy's swinging the half wall. I swing out. Pre fire him down. Potty shots, but you know, this the AK. I right, someone run by. We keep our crosser up. We take him out. 2v1. I plant next to Spirits. But there is a pull somewhere. So Spirits goes down. Pulls the swinging. I run to the hallway. Keep my gun up. And watch how I take this firefight. I'm jiggling the angle. I'm jiggling the angle because when I swing out, if he's swinging me, I'm going to be able to counter swing him and take him out like this. If I'm waiting for him to swing me, there's a thing called, you know, Peaker, I mean, swing every swung. And if you're just standing still and he knows you're on an angle, he's going to have a lot more time to react to you than you will be able to react to him. So I jiggle back and forth. I win the firefight. Now we're on Nighthaven Labs. We're playing against Bolo and Shroud. So Bolo swings out. I mean, that, I mean, that's a headshot, but I shot him right before I went around the corner. Pre fire him out. Bolo goes down. We push in. Keep your crosser out, and every time you, you swing out, jiggle the angle. So every time you just, you know, you're just checking angle per angle. I had no clue that a zombie was there, but we jiggle it and we find him. Now we're on Oregon. I use two Selmas to open up the hatch. Again, you can do that. It's not optimal, but it is something you are able to do. I offer a hatch off here. It is a 4v2. You see my teammates pushing to sights. So I swing in. We take down one, teammate goes down, we find the last. I love being able to get up close and personal with the AK because it is such a good gun. We pre-fire one, we saw the guy close left, do not worry. We kill the one sandwich, and I know that guy is close. More than enough ammo to deal with him as he swings out. Take down two. Valka's running back and forth, we take her down. We push in, we find the Mel, barely, but we win it out. Now we're back on Oregon, it's now a 2v4, and this is a pretty clutch round. Mute swings out, we just track him all the way, take him out, 2v3, 1v3, we find the Ella, we jump in, guy's still outside, running around, he just took down a teammate. We get a free kill and the guy running back in. I mean, do I really need to see more about that? Honestly, I thought I killed him there. He swings back out and we finish him off anyways. <laughs> Ace is really good because you open up that wall and you have a good enough gun to really take on any defender at any range and you're gonna probably come out on top. If, if it's gun skill to gun skill, Ace is going to win most of the time because that gun is honestly insane. 850 fire rate, 40 damage. I mean, the gun was nerfed because of how good it was and it's still really good. That's why most people that play support in a lot of situations are going to opt for the ace because it is really good having a lot of firepower as ace because if the support player is fragging, chances are you're probably winning. That's it today on how to play as ace. Ace is honestly one of the most simple operators to use. 
you throw your charge on a reinforced wall, a reinforced hatch, whatever, and uh, it opens them. Like, and then and then you just have a good gun, you know. Like, that's that's pretty much it. You're running a support player. You can join your team. You open up walls, and then you go in and frag out when you need to. The reason why I prefer Ace over Thermite or Hibana, let's say. Thermite, you have to place those Thermite charges down right up against the wall, so you're very exposed when you do so. It's Thermite's really more for opening up a outside wall. You can't open it up inside walls, but you are exposed when that happens. Ace, I can just throw it from long range. Hibana's take a little bit more precise precision on how to you know use the Kairos. Hibana is more of the hatch getter, and Hibana is a good op, but I much, much, much prefer Ace's gun as, a, as I know most people do. Ace is just kind of the go-to support fragger in the game, and uh, you should definitely try him out. And uh, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, to comment, and leave a like down below for more, and let me know what operator you guys want to see next time. Peace out.